Kia ora and welcome to the Mangamaku Gorge Slip Repair Flyover carried out in December 2023. My name is Kylie Harris and I'm one of the many who's working up here in the gorge and excited to share our progress with you. Starting at the northernmost slips, A1 and A2 combined, you can see here the casings installed ready for permanent piles. These slips will be one of the last sites to be repaired as we complete the slip sites further up the hill and start to exit the gorge. Travelling south and heading up the Maunga is slip A3. We are well underway on this site and currently about 75% complete. You can see here completed piles with the reinforcing cages sticking out. Once all the piling is complete, we will come back and tie it all together with the capping beam. This is the LB24 in Cinnabogan, our drilling rig and crane that we're using for piling and also the cage installation. We carry on to slip A4. This shot was taken just before Christmas and with works carried out over the break, the site looks significantly different now as all the enabling works were completed in this time. Straight in to slip A5, the first site to complete all of the permanent piling and we are now pouring the capping beam that ties all of the piles together. Small boxes that you can see on the right hand side of the capping beam are for the anchors, which will be drilled under the road to secure the wall to the side of the monga. We're continuing on to slip A6, which shows just how close the last four slips were to each other. Here we have completed the enabling works and are continuing to work on improving the stormwater drainage and building rock spool walls that you can see here on the other side of the road. This is slip A7, which is currently programmed for the middle of 2024. Compared to the other slip sites, this one is a slightly easier repair and doesn't require the one metre diameter piles that the other slips do. Due to the access requirements and logistics to move the heavy equipment around the site, we cannot work on every site at the same time. However, we are constantly looking at how each site is tracking and if we can make adjustments to the program. Next up is slip A8. The spool walls have been completed and piling is programmed for later this year. A slightly different piling design with smaller piles required and bore drains drilled into the side of the hill to remove water from under subsoil. We're now flying over slip A9. You can see the crane unloading two of the cages that we use in the piles. These cages are lowered into the pile and the concrete poured around them to reinforce them. They run the full length of the pile so each pile may have two or three cages. We're currently about a third of the way through the permanent piles on this site. This is one of two more recent slips that resulted from the weather event of April 2023 and is called Slip A26. Here you can see the enabling and stormwater works have been completed. 
started the prep work for the permanent piles, which are smaller UC beam piles compared to the larger piles on the majority of the other sites. Work on the site has now paused while we coordinate the completion of other sites. Here's the summit, our home away from home. Up here we have everything we need to keep the project moving, including the design and project team, meeting rooms and lunch facilities. And everything's linked up using Starlink to ensure that we're able to keep the project going. This is slip 18. Here, we'll install new anchors to stabilise and strengthen the existing Gabion rock wall visible to the right of the road, as well as tie it back into the mountainside rock. Slip 811 has been one of our greatest challenges. It might not look like much, but it's up to 21 metres deep in places and extends a few hundred metres up the hill. Around 24,000 cube of material needs to be removed uphill of the highway and the road realigned. We're working with DOF and Hapu to finalise the approvals and management of the retreat. We're now flying over two different slips, A12 from the original closure in August 2022 and a newer formed uphill slip that formed in April of 2023 called Slip A27. Below you can see the completed piles and the capping beam being installed on A12 and the UC beams for the A27 retaining wall on the other side of the road. The design for this wall is similar to the walls installed following the previous closure in 2020. This is our final Slip A13. We're more than halfway through piling and are making good progress. You can see the 11 metre casings installed, ready for the permanent piles. These casings serve as a guide for the drill to start drilling into the bedrock below. We hope that this flyover has showcased the progress of this project and the work still required to come. Also, a massive thank you to local hapu and surrounding whānau for your understanding. Total of this project and continued aroha for our kaimahi.